Hey everybody, I'm John Bell and welcome to the Lexington Bluegrass Airport. Uh, this is Cherokee 3001 Whiskey. It is a 1979 Piper Cherokee Archer 2. Uh, and today I thought we'd do a video just showing the way I do a typical pre-flight inspection and walk around before I go flying this aircraft. So let's get to it. Okay, well, we'll start inside the aircraft and uh, we'll need our checklist, a fuel sample cup, and I also like to keep a, a paper towel in my back pocket as well. So, going through our checklist, we have our aero documents, and that is our airworthiness certificate, registration, operating limitations, and weight and balance. So we can find in this aircraft the registration and the airworthiness certificate is in this pocket. Operating limitations are placarded around the aircraft, and we also have the pilot's operating handbook, and that has limitations and weight and balance in it as well. So we're good with all our required documents. Uh, if we were actually going to go uh, flying this airplane, we would uh, open up the logbook and uh, put in our uh, tack time in and tack time out, and that's how we'll be charged for flying this aircraft. All right, so next thing is, let's go on and uh, release the, uh, the yoke. So I'm gonna unlatch the harness. And then while I'm here, I like to go on and check my flight controls. So I will look and see that my ailerons are free and correct. Elevator. And then we will go on and trim for takeoff. Now we'll set master switch on, check for fuel quantity, and if we wanted to check our lights, we could check landing light on, nav light on, strobe light on, then there's pitot heat and uh, fuel pump. If we do fuel pump, we can hear the, uh, the fuel pump. All right, master switch off, flaps, full down, and now we're outside the aircraft. So for the walk around portion of the inspection, I always start right here at the front pilot side of the aircraft, work my way around, and uh, when I get back to this spot, I know I've completed all of the tasks of the, uh, the outside walk around. First thing that I'll do is I'll check the fasteners on the cowling, and really throughout the whole process, I'm just looking for anything that's out of ordinary. I'm looking for dents, wrinkles in the skin, anything that shows a hard landing, anything that's out of place, along with doing the, the standard checks on all of the, the standard points around the, uh, the aircraft. All right, I always like to give the wheel pants a good wiggle. Grab my fuel tester, and we'll get the first of the drain plugs Take a look at the fuel. We're looking for water or sediment. Don't see any. That looks good. Go back in the tank. And this is also when I will check the fuel level. That will come down the leading edge of the wing. And we've got the stall horn. Coming around. Check the nav lights. All right, so we'll check each of the hinges. These don't have cotter keys on them. The, uh, the hinges just have the, uh, the pins are just bent over on the ends. Uh, here on the uh, rod ends for the actuators of the ailerons, we'll check those to make sure that those are loose and, uh, well, that those are free. A 
on the uh, Archer, the uh, pitot tube and static port are one item. So we will check the pitot tube, which is on the front. Down on the bottom is the static port. And then on the back is the drain. Those all look good. All right, so we'll go down and check the flap. Check the rod end on the actuating rod. Then we will walk down the fuselage looking for any wrinkles, any rivet pops, anything out of place. Check the uh, vertical stabilizer and then the stabilator or the flying tail on the uh, on the Cherokee, we don't have the traditional horizontal stabilizer and uh, elevator and trim tab. Instead, we just have a, a flying tail. So we've got a stabilator and then an anti-servo tab. Because note that that goes the same direction as the tail, not opposite the tail. So you check for any dents, buckles, Check that uh, our trim is pretty much neutral. We're going to look at the hinges. Make sure that the uh, cotter keys are in place. I'm going to check the control rod for the anti-servo tab. We're going to look in the tail cone and verify that that bolt on the control horn has lots of threads still showing. So we'll continue along the elevator. Just feeling for any dents or anything out of the ordinary. When I get to this point, I like to give a good look under the aircraft and just scan all the way from wingtip to wingtip and look at the uh, underbelly and the fuselage looking to see if there's anything that doesn't look right or any buckling, any dents, anything in the underside. Also looking to see that there's no oil that's out of place that's covering the bottom streaking back, anything like that. I also have a good view from here of the tires so I can see the inflation in the tires. Uh, looking to see if there's any obvious uh, flat spots. All that looks all right. All right, we'll check the baggage door. Make the baggage door, make sure the baggage door is latched and go on and lock it. Then we'll check the actuating rod on the flap on this side, checking the, the rod end again. Check the hinges and the control linkage for the ailerons on this side. And also note that I'm always holding a hand out here on the aileron so I don't get a gust of wind that would come down and pinch my fingers. So that rod looks good. The hinges there. Wing tip, nav lights, run along the leading edge of this wing. And we'll check that wheel pant. Sample our fuel on that side. Fuel looks good. Back in the tank. Check our fuel level on this side. All right, and now we're going to take a look at the bottom side of the engine, looking at the front tire for inflation, flat spotting of the tire, the underside, looking to see if there's any obvious signs of oil leakage, looking for oil trailing down the underside of the aircraft.
We'll check the oil level. Since we're having that paper towel, comes in handy. So check the oil level. And there is seven quarts. Oil looks good. Also take a look down in the engine compartment. Looking for obvious signs of oil leakage or uh, anything out of the ordinary. Then we'll come around to the front of the aircraft. We're going to check the propeller for any nicks or cracks or rough spots. Feels good. Check that the uh, spinner is connected tight. Other blade of the prop. All right, now I'll bring you in and show you this blade has a little nick out of it. And that has been that way ever since I've flown this aircraft. Uh, so they've just taken a file and blended that in. But if you can see that, uh, that little scallop that's taken out of it. If we saw anything new, that would be of concern. But other than that, prop looks all right. Now, we'll inspect inside the engine compartment. Then while we're here, we will feel the alternator belt. Make sure the alternator belt is tight right there. Feeling the tension on the belt, that feels fine. Come over here to the other side, give a look. And what we're looking for is any kind of bird nesting, uh, anything that's in there that shouldn't be in there. Come around to this side and we have one last fuel test location. This is the lowest point in the fuel system. If I'm going to have any water, it's going to be in this one. And that uh, fuel sample looks good. We'll put that back in the tank. Now we're back in the same place that we started. We've done our complete circuit around the aircraft and that's it. That's the, uh, that's the walk around. Well, if you have any comments or questions uh, or any kind of topics that you'd like to see me do a video about, just uh, uh, put them in the comments and uh, let me know. Uh, I'm going to try to do a, a video about once a week and, uh, and we'll see where it goes. So uh, subscribe if you like and uh, hope to see you again. Thanks.